Welcome to the Great Exodus series, God's plan of rescue for his children. Let my people go, the path to Mount Zion. My name is Michael, I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Path Movement Foundation. And our topic today is, we remember his birth. Today on the Christmas day, we do not celebrate a pagan feast. What we celebrate is the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. His coming unto us, being man and God in the same person, being without sin and without fault, and still he died as a lamb for all of our sins. To do what? To save us and to set us free. He set us free from this world. And now all what we have to do is to walk out of this world and out of Babylon and to walk that narrow and righteous path that he has shown us by taking our cross and following his footsteps and becoming his bride and becoming so close to him that we are like a young lion, a true copy of him. He is a lion king. He is a king of the millennium and he will come as a lion of Judah. But we can become small lions that people see, say, oh, we see Jesus in this person or in that person, in this brother or in that daughter. This is our goal. And by becoming more Christ-like, we then will bring in the harvest of the ages. Because our light will shine. And our light will be the example that the people will be drawn to the same way as it was in the book of Acts, where the people said, these people are so good within their neighborhoods that they say these people must be, must have something special. And of course they had something special. They had the Holy Spirit in them. They had the zeal to spread the gospel of the kingdom. They had the zeal to become more and more Christ-like. And this is what we are missing in our churches today. That's the reason why we are the church and we will establish the dwelling places of Zion, the home churches, in all the nations. And we will gather the people together with the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit. Listen to me, my brothers and sisters, today on this Christmas day. Please come out of the world and out of Babylon and establish a home church in your house, in your neighborhoods. Gather the people together. The Lord will send them to you. The nameless, the faceless, the underdogs, the ones that are rejected by this world, they all have a place in the heavenly kingdom. And why do they have a place there? Because Jesus came to save us all. There is no difference between man and a woman, and no difference between nationalities or religion or anything. It is about the gift that we have received from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ through his complete ministry, all his work that he has done, three and a half years, his death on the cross, and especially his resurrection onto a new level, onto a new understanding, onto a new body, a new level that we must walk now of clarity, of righteousness. And at the end of this journey, we will become holy so that we will be allowed to enter the holy place, Mount Zion, paradise, and be with our Father and our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, forever and ever. So remember, remember today the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And I hope that you have a pleasant day and when you are with your family, then talk about Jesus. Spread the gospel. Say that Jesus loves you. Pray over your meals that are given. Pray over the blessings that you have received. Because Jesus is with us all. And he is in our hearts. And this is a time when we have to remember him. Not a Christmas tree. Not the, the worldly gifts that are coming in not a Santa Claus, but a Savior, a Savior of this world, 
Praise be to the Lord, and praise be to the Father that he has sent his only begotten Son, so that everybody who believes in him has eternal life. So believe in him, take up your cross, and follow him. Walk that narrow and righteous path to Mount Zion. Today is a day of remembrance. Remember, remember his birth. Thank you that you have listened to this topic. And I hope that it has blessed you. And I also hope that you will come out of the world and out of Babylon and walk with us together the narrow path to Mount Zion the holy mountain that will come down on the sixth seal for all to see because this the world will see the one who sits on the throne and the lamb because the rest of the lamb will come at the sixth seal and the 144,000 will be sealed and the multitude closed and white will enter paradise so be ready to be a multitude part of the multitude closed and white but to do that you must clean your garments in the blood of the Lamb on the way and bring in the harvest. I wish you a pleasant day. I wish you a great Christmas. I wish you a perfect remembrance day of the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. May God bless you and your family abundantly. Maranatha.